In today's video, I'm showing you how you can create social media posts with ChatGPT and Canva. As you can see here, I have different, different posts ready to be published as Instagram stories or in Facebook. And all of these have been written by, by ChatGPT and they have been created with a bulk function in Canva. Also, I have these other examples. And in this case, these are short videos as you can see, there's a little bit of animation, and in this case, they have a video as a background. And also, this all have, has been written by ChatGPT, and they have been all created in Canva at once. So, to get started, let me show you how to do this. I'm going to go to ChatGPT. So, let's open ChatGPT. As you can see, I have the, the plus version I upgraded last week. And I already made a quick video on my honest opinion on this on this paid version. You can you can watch it in my channel. So first thing we're going to start a new a new chat. And I have this prompt that I have written already. Let me show you. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write 10 tips on how to build a social media strategy in 2023. Each of these tips need to have a hook title. The max length of for each tip must be 200 characters. And I'm asking ChatGPT to show me the results in a table format with these two columns. First the title and second the tip. So let's see what we get. So now it's writing. One of the benefits of having the paid version of ChatGPT, it's that supposes, supposedly works much faster than the free version. And I guess sometimes it does and sometimes it's kind of the same as the free version. Anyways, so now, as you can see here, we have the, our, our hook titles and here we have different tips. So what I'm going to do is to copy this and there are two different ways to, to do this. So I'm going to show you both ways. So I'm going to create a new Google, Google Sheet. And if you don't know, you can do this. You can write sheets.new and this will create automatically a new spreadsheet. You can do the same with docs. You could, you could write docs.new and it will create a new document. Uh, you can open up a new Google Meet, uh, writing meet.new. So, well, okay. So what I'm doing here is I already copy the results and I'm gonna paste them there here. So we have the two, the two columns we ask for, and I'm going to download this as a CSV file. Okay, so what we need to do now is go back to Canva and from here I'm going to choose create a blank Instagram story format. So here we can we can search for a, a template that we would like to use or we can design our own template. In this case I'm just going to search for something, I don't know, let, maybe if I write marketing, some, something simple, the rape, the, I don't know, something like this. So first I'm going to modify this a little bit. In this case, I know we have two, two columns with data that we will be using. So I'm just going to remove this to keep that there. Here we have, I'm going to ungroup uh, this, these two fields, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to choose this one here. So I'm going to modify this with my handle relevant. In this case, I'm going to use this text uh, for the title. And I'm going to use this one for the for the tip. I'm going to decrease a little bit this one. 
then I'll make sure that this is set here to the anchor so if the title has two lines it, w it won't move it it will keep it from there and the same with the with the text box so okay maybe this can be a little bit wider yeah that looks good to me so anyways so next thing you need to do is go here to to the apps menu and here you will type bulk search for bulk there's only one option here so click on that and as you can see here there are two ways to add our data so i'm going to show you both ways but we can enter the data manually in this case we only have uh, 10, 10 fields so it could work but when you have i don't know hundreds of, of lines maybe uploading the csv file will be a better option so by default it comes with this, this data i'm just going to remove this and you can change uh, the name the header for this table let's say title and tip i'm going to paste the data here and click on down so now we have to connect each of these fields with the data we, we just added to Canva so to do that select the text you want to use and here you will have this connect to data so from here we will connect it to the title and here same we will connect it to the tip and now we click on continue and as you can see it, it it's showing us all the data that we imported to canva and here we can click on generate these 10 pages so let's give it a second super fast and as you can see now we have 10 already made to publish uh, Instagram stories of course they have all the same design but this is a super fast way to create a certain type of social media post you can use this to create I don't know like quotes posts or things like that and to show you the second way which is pretty much the same I'm just gonna use this uh, this kind of template that sometimes I use for some of my posts which is the one that I was pre previously showing you at the beginning of the video and as you can see here it has this video as a background and in this case I'm going to make some some changes to the design for example I'm going to increase the size of this and I'm going to separate these as, as two different text boxes. So I'm going to paste this. Use this. I'm going to use this for the title. Again, make sure the anchor text is set to that one. Same here. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is again go to the apps search for bulk and in this case I'm going to upload the CSP file it's this one so again let's select the text you want to connect to the data and here this is different because we don't have headers in this in this CSP file so it says it gives us the first value that has the, the CSV file. So that, and let's connect the second one. There it is. 
think I'm going to change this. Okay, and now we have um, the fields connected to the data. I'm going to click on continue. And as you can see here, in this case, it's only showing me nine, nine posts that will be created because um, it's using the first row as a header for this. So next time I will do it, and next time you do it, make sure you add, you set the first row as a header for your for your columns. Okay. So that's it. Let's click on generate. And there we go. So let me check this. And as you can see, the video is still used as a background. The text for the tips has this typewriting animation and that's it of course this works only if you want to use the same the same background the same design but it's a pretty easy way to create thousands of posts in only one format in a super quick way so i hope you like this content and please let me know if you have any questions or comments appreciate it and of course i always try to answer every question or comments and i appreciate if you subscribe to the channel like the video and that's it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video